Today, I'm going to show you why you need a second brain and how this could be one of the best things that you all do for yourself this year. But before we talk about a second brain, let's talk about our first brains. At any given moment, a brain does only one of the three things, consuming information, processing information, or making a decision to take an action. In daily lives, we consume information through reading news, articles, and books, or listening to people that we met during the day. Then we process information either consciously like highlighting, note-taking, and reflecting, or unconsciously when our minds just automatically come up with ideas and insights. And lastly, our minds consistently make decisions to perform actions in the physical world like sleeping, eating, meeting people, working, and many, many more. In order for us to be productive, we need to manage these three things that our brains do every single day. And broadly speaking, there are two kinds of productivity systems. First is action management, which aims to directly manage our actions so that we can do more things that matter to us. Some of the disciplines in action management are time management, project management, task management, and habit tracking. There is also another kind of productivity system that I would like to call mind management. My management aims to manage how you consume and process information. This includes things like speed reading, meditation, studying techniques, and of course, a huge area in my management is personal knowledge management, or as many people call, building a second brain. Building a second brain is the name of the popular online course from Tiago Forte, which essentially is about building personal knowledge management system. Therefore, these days, many people refer personal knowledge management as building a second brain. What personal knowledge management is trying to do is to help us consume and process information more effectively. So that in the end, it is as if you have a second brain that is the extension of your first brain. But shouldn't we just focus on managing our actions? Because in the end, actions are the only things that matter, right? To understand this, let's revisit the diagram. In the past, the society have mainly focused on action management, which makes sense since actions are directly related to results. However, action management industry is reaching plateau since we now have more apps, principles, and techniques than ever to manage individuals and teams' actions. In contrast, Personal Knowledge Management, or PKM, still has tremendous room to grow and has been gaining popularity especially last year, as we now have more tools and content targeting personal knowledge management. So there has never been a better time to start building your second brain. More importantly, building a second brain is one of the most powerful things that you can build for yourself. Let's see why. Information we consume will feed our minds to process, and also at all times, our minds are processing information by themselves as well, similar to how you simmer food in a pot. The output of processing information will be your mindset and mental state, knowledge, and insights and ideas. These elements will greatly affect how you take actions in the physical world. To illustrate this concept, I'll describe human as a computer. And even though this is not a perfect analogy, hopefully it can show you the importance of mind management. To use this analogy, your body would be like hardware. Your mindset and mental state would be like operating system. Knowledge and skills are like apps and plugins. And your ideas and insights would be like resources that are available in a computer, such as fonts, graphics, and images. Let's say you decide to take the very same action, which is to design a magazine cover, but on different computers. If two computers have the same hardware, same apps, exact same resources, but run on different operating systems, one on a very clean install of a very stable Mac OS, and another one on a very old buggy window vista with bloatware and viruses, the machine B is going to be much slower, not so delightful to use, and at the end, it's going to impact the quality of the work. Now, let's say two machines are running on the very same operating system, same resource, but now are using different apps to create the magazine design. One is using Mac Preview with limited functionalities, and another one is using the latest version of Adobe Photoshop. This, of course, will directly impact the ability to create the magazine design. What if two machines have the exact same app, same operating system, but now have different resources? Well, that's going to directly impact what we can do with the final artwork as well. Now that you can see how personal knowledge management can drastically improve your outcome in life, 
Let's go over some tips to get started on building your second brain. Number one, try to be very selective about the information that you consume. Be very selective about people who you spend time with and also the information that you consume every single day. Number two, start journaling. Journaling is a great way to get started because it captures things that are on your mind on a piece of paper. And last but not least, Try adopting some of the personal knowledge management techniques like Zettelkasten, Active Recall, or Space Repetition. We're going to cover a lot more about personal knowledge management in this channel, so stay tuned for more videos. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.